Hey guys, I feel like it's been forever. I feel like I just said that in one of my last videos. But today we are going to do what kind of an empty slash chef's kiss products, meaning, you don't know what that means. It's basically when you love something so much, you give it a chef's kiss. All right, so first we're gonna start with a bronzer. So this is the e.l.f. bronzer in the shade Forever Sunkissed. I've made a slight dent in it, you guys can't tell, but yeah. It's a nice bronzer, I've been using it a lot. Um, it's not too cool toned, too warm toned, and it's buildable, which I like. Um, I mean, of course I have um, Benefit Hula bronzer, and that bronzer I do use. Sometimes if I, oh, I can really see a dent in it when I look at it, like from an angle. I made a dent in this, but. Oh uh, yeah, Hula Bronzer, I put it on if I really want to look really bronzy and sun-kissed, like full-on, you know, kind of situation, but yeah, so this is definitely more buildable. I would say I have it on today, and you guys can't tell because of how much cameras are effing liars, but you know, whatever. So yeah, love this bronzer, it's affordable, it's buildable, it's nice, and it's, it's a nice color also, so yeah. Um, this is like a basically an empty... Um, Shop Miss A AOA Studio Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer. I've had this for a long time. I do use it, and it's basically just I mean, it's shimmery, but it's not glittery, and I really like it. It just like I put it right here, you guys can't tell probably, but yeah, it's just it's a nice shade, it's nice, and like it actually feels kind of hydrating, also, which is nice. And it's a dollar, and I mean, if you Honestly, it reminds, me, it reminds me of the e.l.f. Um, shimmering, shimmering Whips or whatever they're called again, which are also like a dollar, but yeah. So, at some point I'm probably going to buy another one of these, but um, but yeah, it's just, it's nice. You can, you know, put it over makeup, you can put it under makeup, you can mix it in with stuff. It's basically like a liquid highlighter, and it's bebala.com. So yeah. I've been using a lot, I mean, to be fair, I've used a lot of the products this month, but um, this is my almost empty buxom white russian lip cream and i will be doing a 21 days of beauty sale haul this coming week because i've been waiting for my last package to come in it's coming in this week so you may see this also in that order or haul i should say but yeah i love this it smells so good yeah i think it does i think somebody said in a video that i watched recently that this that, that, that this smells like um, like kind of like toasted marshmallow, which it kind of does. It smells really good. I don't put it all over my lips because it's very tingly, and I love the sensation of it. And I've been into plumbing lip glosses like crazy. I bought a bunch of them, and I just wear them all the time. I'm wearing the ColourPop one right now. Like it's just, they're so good. I love that. It's like it's kind of like spicy food. Like when you like normal food is good and all, but spicy food gives you that kick, and I feel like a bux a buxom lip gloss is like that. It's it's a glossy, you know, well plumbing glosses, you know, plumbing glosses they give you that glossy finish, but they give you that kick of the tingle, and it's just great. I love it so much. But yeah, this I love the packaging, and you guys can tell. I mean, I can tell, but yeah, it is pretty low, and I've had this for a long time, so it is the bomb. And Com. I would also recommend Catrice, Colourpop, um, what else, what else, what else, what else, um, Milani's plumbing gloss is not bad, um, I have a Sephora one, but I don't know where it is, and, yeah, I just love plumbing gloss, and this is a good one, talk about eyeshadow palette, I just heard that this was discontinued, which I'm really sad about, but this is the Colourpop, Dream Street, Kathy Lights, ColourPop, Collaboration. It doesn't look like I love, it doesn't look like I've used this even. I mean, well, if you look at this one, this this is probably my most used shade, this one, which is Twinkle, I think. Um, I love it. It's like my favorite rose gold shade of all time, and I love rose gold, as you guys know. But yeah, I love this palette. Yes, I don't use it all the time, but I love this palette. And I'm very sad that it's being discontinued, or it was discontinued, and I'm sad about it because it's like my favorite palette of all time, but apparently now I'm going to probably use it less because of that fact, but I love it. So it's just, it's neutral, the packaging is beautiful, of course there's no mirror, which, I mean, I kind of want to get Going Coconuts and or 
I want to get so jaded and I also want to get the Zodiac palette from Colourpop but they're like prices are going up for like all of these different brands including Colourpop so like these used to be eight these used to be sixteen dollars and now they're eighteen dollars and I'm like so yeah I don't know but um yeah I love this palette it's just it, it's it's neutral but there's pots of color if you want to do a blue look, I've done blue looks with this palette and they are really pretty. When I when I filmed, um, when I did the quarantine cooking tuna casserole video, I was wearing this palette on my eyes mostly. With some BH Cosmetic eyeshadows and e.l.f. eyeshadows also, but it's just so pretty. Look at that. Like, it's so pretty. Versatile, you can do a lot with it. It's like a good balance of shimmer to mattes and... Okay, I'm going to talk about deodorant. I got this at Target. It is the Native Deodorant Cucumber and Mint. It is, like, pretty much, like, yeah, that's all I got left. I mean, yes, it's a mini deodorant, but I don't want to spend, like, I think I looked it up. I think I looked up these deodorants on Ulta. I think they have them, but they're, like, way more expensive than this. And this was, like, $3, and yes, it's a mini and, like, a travel size deodorant, but... I do like this deodorant. Would I buy another one? I probably would. But the mini. I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. But of course this didn't like last me a ton, but it smells mostly like cucumber. I can't really smell right now. I'm stuffed up. I'm not sick, but I'm stuffed up. So yeah. But yeah, I like this. Four products left. Two basically two empties and two non-empties. So let's get the empties done shall we this is like my one of my favorite foundations of all time i love this foundation this is physician's formula the health foundation spf 20 uh brightening complex for all skin types i love this if you guys could maybe tell i don't know if you can like it's like you can see through the bottle it is very very low i know a lot of people don't like the smell of this and or the packaging I actually like the smell of it, but I love this foundation and I don't hate the smell of it. Like, it's a strong smell. Like, if you're sensitive to smells, you're not going to like it, but I like the smell. I've gotten used to it, so. And yes, the packaging is messy, but I prefer doe foot and or spatula ap uh, applicators for foundations because I can just, like, I use this today and I just boop, 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 boop. You know, I can just, like, basically draw with this applicator and I just love how easy it is like without you know like with a pump you have to like either pour it out on your face or put it in your on your hand and it's just a mess and yes this is messy packaging but it doesn't make a mess on my face and it's a lot quicker and I just I love this foundation it just looks like skin it's not super dewy but it's not matte like it's in the middle like it's a nice satin foundation for me it's a perfect everyday foundation because it gives me sun protection I love the color of it. Yes, it's glass, which isn't amazing. Like, it's heavy duty. Like, you could kill somebody with this thing, but at the same time, like, it's pretty. Yes, the silver thing came off, like, a while ago because I used this to death because I love it. But honestly, this lasted me so long, but honestly, most of the time when I use this, I just put one, da one, one swipe, one swipe, one swipe, one swipe, one swipe. Like, I only use five swipes for my whole face when I use this. So, I feel like that's why it lasted me so long. But, yeah, if you were looking, if you have... Normal to dry skin, you're looking for a satin foundation that isn't like, you know, 40 bucks. One of my go, this is like my go-to perfume every single day. It is from Express, which if you don't know what Express is, it's at the mall, or at least most malls, I think. And this is the 3 Express. It's called a blend of Perfect Notes, Midnight Violet, and Vanilla. It's like, this isn't expensive. It's, uh, you know, it's like a under, I think every time I've, I think, I have a backup of this and... It's like under four. It's under thirty dollars, I think. And I just love the simple packaging, the rose gold like detailing. Like there's rose gold on here, and there's rose gold on here, and it's so pretty, simple. And yeah, I've used the crap out of it. I used it today. I'm trying to like use it all up so I can open the next one because I want to open the next one up. I might honestly the next time I go there. Or, or if I can order, I mean, I'm assuming I can order it online, but obviously why would I want to buy a new one when I have a backup of this one? But I might buy a ba another one of these, like a different scent, because I like the smell of this. It's like very, it's like a floral vanilla smell. It smells really, really good. Let's try to just, yeah, there's still some sprays in here. It's crazy, but yeah, weirdly enough. But yeah, um, it smells really good. I don't buy expensive perfumes, 
that are big sizes but yeah this lasted me a long time i love the packaging like i said and i would like to try another scent of it so yeah if you're looking for an inexpensive uh, perfume that is pretty simplistic and kind of elegant in the same way and it doesn't smell like crazy i can't really smell but um it smells good and it's cute and it's not super expensive and i mean to be fair it doesn't last all day on me it doesn't but when you pay under 50 bucks for a perfume, you can't really expect it to last all day, so. And I'm cheap, so. ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. My cap is really gross and dirty. I use this a lot. Um, my only pet peeve, okay, I have two pet peeves about this. One, there's no SPF in this, which I personally find annoying because, like, my phone, like, similar to this foundation, like, I love this also because it has because it has SPF in it, and I don't have to think about putting SPF on before I put this on, and I do with this one, and I don't love that. So, I like how easy this is to apply on my face, and it doesn't give me a ton of coverage, but it gives me enough coverage to feel, like, more even-toned. But, yeah, I, I mean, I like this, but, yeah, that, and the fact that I feel like when you use hyaluronic acid, you're supposed to, like, dampen your skin, or at least put some moisturizer on, or... I usually try to put some water on my face and then put this on. Like, I've been trying to remind myself to do that, but... Because if you don't... I mean, of course, if it's, like, hot outside, then, of course, you know, the hyaluronic acid will take the moisture from the air and put it in your skin. But, if I mean, if, if you're wearing this in the winter time and you don't put water in your face first, it's going to suck all the fucking life out of your freaking skin. And, yeah, so... I, I guess my point is is I feel like I have a love-hate relationship with hyaluronic acid for that reason because I feel like it should be easier, but uh, whatever. But yeah, my main beef is the fact that, yeah, no SPF, but okay. So this is the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. I've had this for like years, literally, uh, and I just recently pulled it out of my, my assortment of makeup and I started using it. And my favorite shade is the middle one, the pink one, um, because this one's kind of too light, it looks too icy on me, and then this one looks too golden on me, actually, which I do prefer. And you'd think if I mixed the golden with the white, it would be, like, really good, but, which it, I'm not saying it isn't, but the pink one, I just feel like it's, like, not too icy, but it's not too dark either for me, so it's, not that this one's really, not that the yellow one is too dark, it's just too golden, if that makes sense. So yeah, this just looks like wet, juicy skin. I have it on today. Maybe you guys can tell. I don't know if you can, but it's just, it's smooth. I'm gonna swatch this for you. Why not? Okay, so. Okay, here they are. Here they are. This is gold one, pink, and white. I mean, they're just so, like, glossy and wet and beautiful. I personally really like them. They're very smooth also. This video, uh, don't you guys love to crack your neck? I do. Is the Burt's Bees Blush in Toasted Cinnamon. Oh my gosh. I've had this for a while. Of course I bought it because of Kathleen Lights, because who didn't? Um, I feel like when I first tried this, I liked it, but I didn't love it. And now I like, I've been using it like every day, basically. It's... When I first started using it, I kind of used it more as like a bronzer kind of blush, if you will. Because it is like a bronzer kind of blush color. Um, but within the last week or two, I realized that this is kind of like a peachy blush, kind of. Like a, it's like a terracotta peachy blush, if that makes sense. And it's so pretty. It's like very, uh, it's very like... This is pretty okay. This is okay. There it is, right here. I mean, that was a lot, but you know, it's just so like it is peachy. Honestly, it's like peachy and it's like satiny, so it's like gives you a glow, which I do like a satin blush. Not gonna lie, it's just pretty and pigmented and neutral. Like I feel like it can, it can really blend in with your bronzer really easily and. Yeah, it's just so pretty, and it's very unique, I feel like. I don't feel like it's just a peach blush. It's like a very unique peach blush. And I know they have a peach version of this blush, um, you know, in their range. Um, I haven't tried any of the other shades. I've only tried this one, so... But I just feel like this is a very unique color. 
and I like unique blush shades, so I don't have a lot of unique blush shades. I use mostly pink blushes like 24 7, so, so yeah. So, yeah, those were some of my favorite products that I've been loving recently. My chef's kisses. And yeah, I definitely would say my favorite things that I've been using a lot. Top three. These are my beautiful chef's kisses because these are some really good inexpensive products. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm so close to 200 subscribers and I'm dying to get to 200 subscribers. You have no idea how long I've been wanting to get to 200. But I mean, I'm very thankful to have all of you guys in my zone and in my, in my you know, in my support group. But I really want four more people. So if you guys know of any people, tell them about me and subscribe. I love you guys, and all my social medias are always down in the description box below. I'm, I tend to post a lot of nature pictures and videos on my Instagram. I'm just a nature person. I just am. I should probably post more makeup stuff, but I don't typically do a lot of makeup videos on my channel because I don't feel like a lot of people like my makeup videos, or maybe, I don't know. Whatever. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe like I said. I love you guys. I hope you guys are doing very well. We're all in this together, this whole situation. So yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.